I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air. And I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Supposed to know, ask him yourself. But he radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Yeah. 
Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? Next time you don't return from the surface. There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro. Nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave Ooh, us a scare, think. brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I Pardon see you're me, all right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration! Artyom! A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which... Alyosha! How you are you the nurses now, guys? Huh? Would you just stop crowding him? <sighs> brother... Welcome back, Artyom! Ah-ha! Privyat, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed! I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, well, you guys are like so kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa <laughs> off-limits zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now... I had to scare a demon. 
cannon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Now the whole area knows we're here. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. So, the pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if... to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Shit! Come up now! I got you! Did you hear that, with him? Something loud. At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or here! Let's switch the radios! Are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Shit! What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train too! Let's join them! 
Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did! Come on, get in! Picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the Ordo Commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. Without These the people, the they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new you one for that. what's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God! The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it! At least give them their masks back! They won't be needing any masks. <laughs> Get it! Oh.
damned watchmen broke through. <sighs> the workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained. I'm looking for the If anything here, comes through, through, shoot. Doesn't look like we're going to get much of anything from guarding this place. Safe from trouble. Attention! The turntable is switching on! Well, what did we forget here? Doesn't look like we're going to get much of anything from guarding this place. Safe or trouble. You're shooting people like dogs! You... Don't push your luck, old timer. They aren't people, they're spies. Put oh! him in a cell. He needs time to cool his head. <laughs> We've had just about enough of your whining, you old fuck! <laughs> Come out of here! We won't accept this shit again! Okay? Understand? Animals! How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman? A human? How did you... Oh, oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. <laughs> okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Permission to report, Captain, sir. It's the fucking breaker again. Looks like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Senya, go tell the workers. Have them check. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yermak. Don't rush. You can use your head after all. <laughs> Move crouched. It's quieter that way. See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir! Got me already! Get started with the engine Come on, come on! Fixing this should be nothing for you! Yermak! What's taking you so long? Uh, a shoelace got untied! I'm coming now! Hey. Simon the Coyote. Uh, there's a failure at the generators. What? You should see it! Is it safe yeah, you? I totally need you to tell me what I should do. Better fix this line here. Everything is under control. Come Wait. on, move it. You'll, You'll have to take him down. Can you yeah. do it quietly? Under control. By the way, what's with that mumbling? The workers they sent to fix that fight. Oh, I'm just talking to myself. That's why the memory problem, you see. Ah, your man. Yeah. That light off. Don't come on me. Get to work. Let's go. Wait. Wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. 
tight. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. through! Come on! Hey! Good luck to you! This system supplies air for the command center. You're it's dead, not that large, You're actually. Dead. Dead. Wait for the moment. Dad, I will, of course, do it again, you but you've done to I, I'm not much of a fighter as you can guess. These people are from other cities, aren't they? They come to Moscow looking for us. And we never even saw them, because you killed them all! Women, children, my dad will never... Don't you think he knows? Don't you think your dad is in on the door? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Oh, you! Oh, God! You fucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, oh, my God! You're alive! Alive! Are you hurt? Hunter's badge? And stop the bullet! Take this, bitch! Don't move! Attention! Control unit damage! Morons! We are at war! One death won't be enough for you now, you What is this equipment? This is the Universal Broadband Radio Jammer. What? It stops Moscow from hearing anyone, and them from hearing us. Shit! This fucking sucks. Do you hear that, Artyom? You were right all alone. Do you see? It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world! Oh my god! What for? Because the war is still going on! And you behave like fucking kids! Hello! Don't shoot! I'm with him! I'm with you! You have to run! Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, hey guys, be careful. What's going on? Hey! Hey, guys! Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. 